This tutorial will go over the T30, T10 Universal Remote Control and the functions of the different buttons. This is the remote controller switch. When the controller is off, you can short press this switch to check the battery level of the remote control, or short press and then long press to turn it on. When the controller is on, you can short press this switch to turn off the screen display to save battery, or short press and then long press the switch to turn off the remote controller. This is the return to home RTH button. You can short press and long press this button to let the drone return home, or short press this button to cancel RTH. This is the C3 custom button. This button can be set as a shortcut function for the remote control. It's recommended to set this button as the radar obstacle avoidance. This is the flight mode switch. P indicates positioning mode, and A indicates attitude mode. Attitude mode is disabled by default, so even when the flight mode switch is in the A position, the drone is still in positioning mode. You do not need to use the flight mode switch during normal operations. This is the five directional custom button. You can set the up, down, left, right, and middle buttons to different shortcut functions in the setup menu. This is the back button. You can press this button to return to the previous screen. The upper row provides status indicators. On the left is a pairing indicator. If the drone is not powered on or not paired, this will be red. If pairing is complete, it'll be green. On the right is a power indicator, which displays the battery level of the built-in remote controller battery. This is the spray button. You can short press this button to manually start spraying. You can also long press this button for two seconds to discharge air. This is the flow adjustment wheel. You can use it to manually adjust the flow speed during manual operations or when discharging air. This is the FPV button. You can short press this button to switch between the FPV and the position information screen. This is the drone switch button when one remote control controls multiple drones. This is the HDMI interface, used to mirror the remote controller screen onto a display device. This is the memory card slot. You can insert a TF card to import the DJI TeraField data. This is the USB interface, used to connect the RTK High Precisioning Positioning Module. This is the C1 button. When editing a field, you can press this button to enter obstacle mode. Alternatively, you can customize this button on the setup menu. This is the C2 button. When editing a field, you can short press this button to add waypoints. Alternatively, you can customize this button on the setup menu. This is the battery compartment switch. Short press the switch to open the battery cover. This is the battery lock switch of the remote control. You need to short press this switch before removing or installing the battery. Here are some tips for using the remote control. To implement shortcut operations, long press the back button. To quickly record the screen, press the press and hold button. To quickly take a screenshot, press the FPV button. To adjust the screen brightness, use the flow adjustment wheel. To adjust the volume of the remote control, use the wheel on the right. Alternatively, you can complete these operations by using the pull down menu. When the drone is not powered on, you can swipe down to call the menu, or move the stick to select the desired menu item. You can also swipe left or right, or use the stick to set the brightness and volume. Finally, we would like to show you how to use the stick of the remote control. You can control the stick with either one finger or two fingers. We will demonstrate one finger operations, which are relatively easy. Press one third of your thumb against the stick and use your remaining fingers to hold the remote control. Pay attention to the following issues when using the stick of the remote control. Do not repeatedly push the stick halfway. Your thumb cannot leave the stick during manual flight. Finally, we will explain the stick operations of the remote control. Both the left and right sticks can be moved in the up, down, left, and right directions. We will explain the basic operations based on the mode too. You can unlock the drone by simultaneously moving the two sticks towards each other. Move the stick on the left up or down to have the drone fly up or down. 
If you move the stick to the left or right, the drone will turn left or right. If you move the stick on the right, upward or downward, the drone will fly forward or backward. If you move the stick to the left or right, the drone moves towards the left or right. 